Gents, it's a hot summer day at Spawn Ranch and a hippie just slashed your tire. Now the question you need to be asking yourself is what type of shoes am I going to wear to kick some ass? Boat shoes? White leather sneakers? Maybe horse spit loafers? Now all of those are great summer staples, but I'm going to suggest something a little bit more classic Americana. Gents, if you got to kick some ass this summer, might I recommend a pair of moccasins? Now these right here may be a little bit too much for most of you, but guys, there are options out there that are much simpler, sleeker, and actually a blend with the modern dress shoe. Now the key with a pair of moccasins is the construction. More often than not, moccasins are going to use a softer material, so you're going to see them made from suede and other types of soft leather. In addition, around the toe box, we're usually going to see visible stitching, which gives the shoe style a more casual vibe. And speaking of casual vibes, let's not forget about espadrilles. Light, breathable, and relatively inexpensive, they can provide a casual yet sophisticated look that's perfect for summer. Espadrilles are a great option to wear to the beach or simply wear out to dinner. Now, what if you want to dress things up during the summer? Let's look at the sports jacket, specifically the unlined sports jacket. Now, when it comes to jacket lining, you've got options. Most jackets you're going to see out there are going to be fully lined. But if you look around, you can find half line jackets, quarter line jacket, and unlined jackets. Now, I'm going to warn you, and this may sound counterintuitive, but unlined jackets in general are going to be more expensive. The reason is in the finish. When it's an unlined jacket, they've actually got to finish the inside of the jacket to make it look pretty. Fully lined jackets, which again are the majority of jackets out there, get away with the insides of the jacket not looking great because hey, they get to cover it up. But if you need to dress things up when it's hot outside, I can tell you the difference between a lined jacket and an unlined jacket made from a linen or a breathable material is night and day. It's so much more comfortable because it's so much cooler. Well, what to wear with that unlined jacket? Well, Gentlemen, you can either go with a dress shirt, a polo, or today's sponsor, Collars & Co. They've created a shirt which can be either. Seriously, gents, if you haven't heard of Collars & Co., you are in for a treat. I've been working with these guys for a while as a sponsor, and I love what they do. They were on Shark Tank. Why? Because they solved a problem. They developed a polo shirt that has a strong placket and a strong collar with four buttons right there on the front. This is a polo shirt that you can dress up. Whether you want to layer this with a jacket, with a sweater, guys, this is the perfect shirt. It's got moisture wicking capabilities, and it's got a four-way stretch. This is a shirt that you can wear all day and not worry about it. And what I love in hot weather, I don't have to worry about the long sleeves. It's breathable. In fact, here, one of the most important days of my life, the baptism of my daughter Marina. Look at that shirt right there. That is a collars and coat. It was a hot day in Chicago, a little bit muggy that day, and I felt great. Well, let's talk about all the different collar styles they've got. They've got that English spread collar, a semi-spread collar, Oxford button-down collar, and cutaway collars. They've also got the shirts in a wide variety of different patterns. If you haven't been over to their website, go over there and check them all out. And again, gents, my favorite part about Collars & Co. is that they solve a problem. So many of you have complained, I don't want to dress sharp because it's uncomfortable. Collars & Co. makes it easy. That's why Mark Cuban invested a million dollars into this company. That's why he wears these shirts when he's out there doing interviews. Now, gents, down in the description of today's video, I've got the best deal you're going to find on the web. I've also got a code for you, RMRS, user to lose it. The deal is not going to be around forever. I've worked with this company multiple times, again, because I wear these shirts. I love them. Go check them out. Awesome company. Proud to support them. Now, speaking of layering, I know during the summer, a lot of guys think, well, why in the world would I want to layer? Well, let's say you go out on the lake, you're out near the water, it gets cool in the desert. There are times, yes, during the summer in which you want to have a sweater handy. But here's the deal. You need a summer sweater, not a winter sweater. They're going to be made from different materials and they're going to have a slightly different hand. So, when it comes to materials, look to cotton, linen, you can look for some silk blends, or look for a finely knit merino wool. Now, when it comes to cotton sweaters, they don't do great during the winter. They don't insulate very well, but during the summer, they're perfect because they do provide some insulation. And what I love about summer sweaters is you can throw these in the wash. These are really durable and easy to wear. Now, linen can also be found in sweaters. And again, it's going to have a lot of the same properties as cotton, but it's going to be even more breathable. You're usually going to find it in a blend, but uh, I think that if you can find a linen sweater, you like the style, go for it. Silk, again, is another material that you want to find in a blend. And what's interesting about silk is it has this property that it feels like it actually is cooler than it is. So when you put this thing on, it's very luxurious, but be careful because this is something you're going to have to dry clean. And let's not forget about lightweight merino wool. The big advantage here is that you can wear this both in the winter and the summer. It wicks away moisture. It does a good job with regulating temperature. They are relatively easy to find. And I guess for those reasons right there, if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with that lightweight merino wool. Now, style-wise, you got a lot of options. Very similar to the winter, we're going to see the crew 
neck, we're going to see v-necks, we're also going to see Henley style, but I think an overlooked and really useful one during the summer is the cardigan style because that opening in the front doesn't make it as useful during the cold winter, but during the summer, you know, it just provides enough warmth on the arms, on the shoulders, on the majority of the torso, but it still has that open look and again, it's great for layering. Next up, gents, let's talk about the perfect summer watch. Now, when I think of the perfect summer watch, I think of one that is practical. I'm talking they can stand up to summer activities like swimming, playing sports, something that is shock resistant. In addition, for hot weather, it needs to be light. It needs to be breathable. It needs to be a watch that isn't overbearing, isn't too heavy. And finally, versatility. I want a watch that I can wear with a sports jacket, a watch I can wear to the beach. So, the first option I want to bring to your attention is the racing watch. Now, they come in a variety of styles, different shapes. As you can see, I've got a very unique one right here. But in general, we're going to find that these watches all have a chronograph. Now, in the world of watches, they are considered to be more casual watches, but depending on the brand, depending on the type, guys, they come in a wide variety of options. And to be honest, gents, there are tons of racing watches out there. You can dress up, you can dress down. They look great. This one right here, as you can also see, check out that leather band. It's got holes in it. That's called a perforated leather strap. It's a great choice for a racing watch. It just gives the feeling of a cooler watch, one that not only has some pretty cool style details, but is going to allow your wrist to breathe just a little bit more. And speaking of straps, let's talk really quick about NATO straps. Now, as the story goes, they were originally designed for military use, but what matters to us is they are light, they are breathable, they are durable, and they're relatively inexpensive. So, if you get tired of your existing metal or leather strap, you want to try a NATO strap, it's relatively easy to change this out and it can give your watch a whole other look that is perfect for the summer. And of course, let's not forget dive watches. My favorite style, I like them. You can dress them up, dress them down. Most of my dive watches are going to have metal bands, but guys, you have tons of options out there. If you want to go for something a bit more sporty, more summer oriented, then check out a rubber or a silicone strap. I will say these type of straps do make the watch just look a lot more casual. I personally prefer metal. The point being is you've got options and a stylish man knows this and takes advantage of it. Next up, let's talk about a summer bag that often is forgotten, at least by men, and that is the tote. A tote bag, by definition, is a large and often unfastened bag with parallel handles that emerge from the sides of its pouch. Basically, it's a simple square bag that you can throw things into and go. And I'll tell you, once you start to use one, all of a sudden you find tons of uses for it. If you're out running errands, this becomes your go-to just throw anything into it bag, whether it be a notebook, whether it be your gym clothes, whether it be a small return that you don't want to lose with receipt because you got to drop it off and send it back to Amazon. Now, I get why a lot of guys stay away from totes because the majority of them are sold to women. So, look for a tote that is designed for a guy. In general, these are going to be simple, streamlined, made from canvas or leather. I also like it when they just have a single large compartment, maybe one on the side, so you can hold the small things you don't want to lose. In summary, if you've been looking for a bag that can do everything, this may be the one. Now, we talked about shoes at the beginning of this video, but one thing I didn't mention is no-show socks. Now, the key here is to find a style, find a pair that actually works for you. A lot of guys buy one pair of no-show socks and they slide down the foot and they're like, ah, these things suck. They're not for me. Well, gents, find a different brand, find a different style, find one with a better elastic or silicone rubber on the inside that keeps it right there on the heel. Because when you get a pair of no-show socks that do their job, they're comfortable, they look good, and they level up your style. Now, this next item I fell into by accident. It was probably a decade ago. I was at the Oshkosh Air Show here in Wisconsin, and uh, we're there out all day in the sun, and I needed a hat. And yeah, I'd started this style channel. Maybe I was blogging at the time, but I realized, you know, I didn't have a good Panama. Now, they didn't have any great Panamas at the air show, but they did have this hat and it actually still has like EAA. Anyone know what that stands for? Let me know in the comments below. But in any case, I bought the hat and uh, it was functional. It got the job done. And that's why I love the Panama. Now, there are other options out there, but I find during the summer, a stylish man that can bring a Panama into his wardrobe instantly stands apart and it just gets the job done of protecting you from the sun. Now, when you're looking at a proper Panama hat, one of the first things you're going to notice is the differences in the weave. Lower quality hats are going to have just that looser, heavier weave, higher quality, that tighter, denser weave. So, that tighter, denser one, it's just simply going to last longer. It's going to have, it's going to be able to take the bend and the shape better. At the same time, despite not looking as breathable, they are almost just as breathable as that other style that has all the holes in it. Now, the hardest part with pulling off a Panama is just simply getting used to it. That's why I like when it's in a functional situation, when you're outdoors, it actually just simply works and that's the easiest time to wear it. But once you get used to wearing it, all of a sudden you're able to bring it into your wardrobe and wear it with more confidence. That being said, you don't have to go with the Panama style. This hat right here, I love it as a travel hat because the brim and the crown are aren't nearly as large. It's also going to be easy to fold up and to throw into my luggage. Point being is start wearing hats for a practical reason. 
and then all of a sudden start going for ones that are a bit more stylish and you can level up your game. Now, what about summer fragrances? What are the ones I recommend? Jets, check them out in this video right here where I go over the top summer picks, hot weather fragrances that are going to have you smelling amazing. Yeah, check it out right here. Solid video. Yeah, you'll love it. Boom, right there.